Hello and welcome to the Chicago Auto Show. I am so excited to uh, be able to go for a ride in something I've wanted to do for a little while. So you guys have seen this, it's the F100 Illuminator. It's a 1978 truck that has a fully electric drivetrain uh, and it's highlighting Ford's ability to sell basically electric crate motors. But what's more interesting about this project, if they, they've uh, kind of tapped into their parts bin, they've grabbed Mustang Mach-E battery packs and interior and other things, and it's just super awesome on the inside. So what we're we're going to do is take you on a quick tour of this car we're going to drive it in sort of this indoor track nothing fancy no real hardcore driving but it's something that you guys have seen at a whole bunch of videos we've made with it but now we finally get to ride in it all right so you got to tell me about this thing you got to show me around it this is your project more yep. or less so how did you come up with the idea to electrify a truck this old so as you're aware, we have the Illuminator engine, motor, yep. I'm sorry, that yep. we are, are looking to uh, offer to the public. And we were looking for a way to uh, display it in very meaningful, right? That would resonate with people. And what we realized when it comes to Mach-E engines, which is what this one is, it's it's really difficult for a customer to imagine how they're gonna use it, right? Here, here's a here's a motor, go and, go and use it how you want. Right. So we, have to get, we felt we had to give people a, a little bit of a vision or an aspirational build, you know, for, per se. So what we did here is we, we tried to look for a really cool vehicle. Well, and, you, you and, found the right cool it, vehicle. <laughs> exactly, and we thought an F100 is about as cool as it gets. And um, we tried to keep the outside of the vehicle rather subdued. But where did you find it? How did you find uh, it? Because this, this wasn't in your fleet, vehicle, right? No, it was not in our fleet. We found it uh, online somewhere. <laughs> that's awesome, just so you're just it. browsing and bought yep, it in the truck. That's exactly how we found it. And um, what we want to do is kind of twofold. One is, uh, obviously the Illuminator motor is the, uh, the cornerstone of this, right? But we also, what we also did is we incorporated a few of the Mach-E components on the inside of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And we did that to make it a little bit more special, right? To show people, you know, it, electrification isn't just about the motor, right? It's, a, it's about going a little bit further. And so when we look at the interior, we'll be able to see that. Yeah, we'll definitely take everyone on a full tour of it. But can we start with the nuts and bolts? How did this is put together? What's the drivetrain configuration like? And so where drive, do you, can so, we pop the hood on it too? Yeah, we can. Oh, sweet. Rad. So this is the guts. You got a front trunk. Yes, we do. Why, <laughs> what, what, it wouldn't be an EV without a front, would it? So um, this is the Illuminator motor. And So you have a, a front mounted motor we do. hooked up to a drive shaft, which then makes it rear wheel drive. Exactly. Neat. Exactly. Pretty interesting. And, and this is basically a Mach-E uh, rear wheel drive motor. Yes. Very yes. neat. Yep. And wh why did you guys, so basically you can buy this motor off the shelf now, right? You can. It's available online or from, a, from one of our distributors. What made you want to sell electric crate motors, if you will? So it, it kind of goes back to this vehicle in a way. When, when, you, when you think about what's going on right now in the, in the electric or in the automotive business, everything's going electrified, right? And if you think about the aftermarket, the aftermarket typically follows right behind, right? Whatever the latest and greatest is, They'll, they'll start putting it into um, resto mods if you're familiar with those. Yeah. And, and so this is just the next generation is what this is. So was, we're going to see... time, people said fuel injection was the end of cars, <laughs> you know, and that was the end of it. Now we've got 1,000 horsepower street cars that meet emissions, sure, you know, and everything, right? And, and so what we're doing here is we're just taking, we're just taking that next leap Interesting. Into, the, into the EV market. And is this the only electric motor configuration that you can purchase from you guys? Right now, correct. Okay, very interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think you're right. Resto mods, we've seen a lot of these electric conversion stuff. I think, you know, for vehicles that are classic that are not known for their powertrains, in my opinion. So you're looking at old Defenders, old trucks like this, that you really can just put an electric drivetrain in, keep them alive, keep them working is the coolest. Yep, exactly. But don't rip the engine out of an old Ford GT40 or something. Exactly, <laughs> precisely. And, and I think it's great when you when you go to a, like a Cars and Coffee with a vehicle like this. It, it looks pretty interesting, yeah. right? People first notice that there's no noise. That's probably the first thing they notice. Interesting. Then, they, then when they see inside, they're trying, they're kind of puzzled by the screen, and and when you show what it's powered by, they're just blown away. Yeah, for sure. And I think you've picked the the perfect application of this. So in terms of cooling strategy and all of this stuff, so you have in this particular one, which you're not selling, a Mustang Mach-E battery pack. Yes. So it's about a hundred kilowatt hour uh, gross pack. Uh, and about 88 usable. And where is the pack located? Uh, it's located towards the rear of the vehicle. So it's, it's like underneath. Yeah. Oh, really? How much modification was it needed 
Because I know I that's not really part of your, your project here, but it yeah, was cool for this particular build. You know, and, and part of the reason we picked the body on frame vehicle was because of the packaging of the battery. Yeah. Right? It's, it's much easier with a body on frame to package the battery. So um, it, it wasn't, I won't say it was easy, Yeah. But it, but it wasn't impossible either. Well, you also had to run a drive shaft all the way to the rear. Yep. So what, how does that work? Do you have the original transmission still in the vehicle? Uh, I'm not sure of the transmission. Okay. So. so, but it's a single gear, it right? Is. Yeah. It so is. it's basically put it in D on the shifter. Do you yep. use the same yep. Baki we'll gear take selector? A look at that inside, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll have to take a look at that. But you have a 12 volt system, a high voltage 400 volt system, and it's all pretty, really nicely done. I have to say. Yeah. Thank you. But we got to look at the inside. Okay. So take us on a tour of that because uh, can we see the charging port by the way? Yep. So does this vehicle actually DC fast charge? Nope. So it has yep. the, the regular uh, it does. level two port, but then it can roll up to like an it electrify can. American yep. station. <laughs> we got to do a charging test on this one day. <laughs> don't you think Jordan? <laughs> that is so cool. Really nicely done leather materials everywhere. You have this cool plaid uh, theme going as well, yep. which is uh, super wonderful, I think. You and I just love the Maki gauges and display. It is, it's, it's something we couldn't leave out, right? It was just, it's just too cool. Yeah, and the integration so wonderfully done. So which team inside of Ford did all the interior work to, to sort of make all the parts? Because you had to basically 3D print or somehow make mounting hardware for everything. Yeah, uh, most of this was done by an outside company. Oh, really? Yep. Interesting. Yep. That's really cool. Can you say which outside company no, it is? Unfortunately not. Ah, uh, bummer. But would be cool to maybe make another one so that you could have one to play <laughs> around with. Um, so what what is there to see on the interior? I mean, functions wise, there's a, a physical key everything works as like a normal vehicle? Actually, it's, it, we, we decided not to, we, we forego that. Yeah. Right? Cause we thought having a regular key just wouldn't. wouldn't oh, but you the, have like a wireless one, like yeah, a normal a key car. fob. Yeah, yeah, key fob, right? yeah, yeah. And so we, we kept with the key fob theme just to, just to kind of integrate that newness into the vehicle. So when you go into the vehicle and we'll show you here in a second, when you go in, you hit the start button, you've got the startup presentation, um, just like a mach you -E would have. And if you buy a crate motor from Ford, obviously you're gonna have to integrate that into your project. You are. And you're, so you're gonna what, need a controller, an yeah. inverter, a battery. And do you provide the inverter and everything to at, run the motor? At this time we don't. Um, we talked to a lot of builders when mm -hmm. we first started this project and they actually just said, give me the motor. Yeah. We'll figure everything else out. We just need the motor right now. But did now. you provide the specs that the motor we, needs we to run within? Yeah, we and did. then but so you don't provide any of the Mach-E screens or things like that to interface. No, we don't. Okay. No. But someone will hack it one day. They will. Sooner <laughs> than later, I'm sure, I'm guessing. Cool. Well, uh, what do you say you take us for a ride? Let's Would do that it. be all right? Absolutely. Oh, sweet. So here we go, jumping in the passenger side. Man, I just love all of these materials, seat controls. You have Mach-E seats. Authentic 78 door sound. I love it. So just pull it slow because it's 78 technology. Right, we'll just go nice and easy with everything. So this thing's had uh, has some miles on it now, 5,700 miles. Yep. And it was just driven around a track by Haggerty, which was so cool. Yep, it was, it was a great video. Was that a hard one to get approved to take your one-off vehicle? No, that's no. Awesome. I mean, that's, this vehicle is designed to be driven. Yeah. So it's, it's you know, you and I could, getting this to drive across the country. Really. Let's do it. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll wait here and then we'll have a clearing and be able to head out onto the loop. All right. So you got a, a start button. Start button. <laughs> Shifter, just like a normal Mach-E. Yep. Just like a normal one. Man, even the tire pressures work. I know. Yeah. Why wouldn't it? Everything's right. so well integrated here. So just heading out onto the track next to the F-150 Lightning. Seatbelt works. Power seats work. Dead silent. Power steering yep. even. Oh yeah, one hand. <laughs> Two hands for safety though. Yeah. Uh, and so it's rear wheel drive, of course. Yep, it is. So are we gonna get some tire spin, do you think? We are gonna get some tire spin. Hell yeah. <laughs> it even has Sirius XM, how about that? Everything works. And so do you have one pedal driving on this? It, I can turn it on. Yeah. I don't have it on right now. No, that's okay. But, but we can yeah. turn it on. <laughs> just roasting the tires yeah. man this thing is so cool could we do one more and then i won't make us shut down the whole place for our little ride uh, ride but this is so neat and everyone just takes pictures of this thing it's the oldest car here <laughs> the oldest new oldest, car, oldest new car. <laughs> right, right, right. and there goes jordan with the ipad yeah inside the usb ports you have this beautiful center dash 
center display. And as I said, this is built to drive, right? That's really the intention behind this vehicle. It's not it's not a one-off show car that you put up on a pedestal and leave it alone. Right. It's a it's a driving, functioning vehicle. Do you think you're gonna electrify other sort of iconic Ford models from the past? I sure hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> if they perform anything like this, I'd love it. Full power. It's just lighting up and even traction control works. Yep. That is so, so cool. Thank you so much for the little ride in this thing. You're most welcome. That was just absolutely wonderful. Definitely a bucket list item to go for a ride in this thing. And there you have it, a ride in the F100 Illuminator. We did a couple of burnouts and some full throttle accelerations. Nothing crazy. I'd love to get this out and uh, spend some time with it, maybe in a more in-depth scenario. would love to do some testing on it. It's really neat how they've integrated their entire drivetrain. But again, the point of this vehicle is to highlight an individual component, sort of a crate system that you can purchase to electrify your project. They will sell you this exact motor, this Mach-E rear-wheel drive motor, and you can kind of arrange it however you want. I love that Ford is opening up the world to electric vehicle builds, and I can't thank them enough for letting us go for a ride in the F100 Illuminator. I love that it's also parked next to the F150 Lightning, and behind there is the Transit. Three of my favorite Ford EV products and Mach-E's around here somewhere as well. Gotta love it.